Well, thanks for staying with us. So pride may be all that is left to play for by Cameroon against Nigeria today after the coach Hugo Bruce considered defeat in the race to qualify for the World Cup next year. Bruce admitted after the game that their qualifications hopes, uh, qualification hopes were all but over, adding that Nigeria's seven points might be too much for the African champions to catch up with. He was speaking after the game on Friday in New York. Let's take a listen to him. Okay, I, I understand. We've got uh, uh, sports journalist Okon Iya now who joins us via Skype. Hello, good morning, and how are you this morning? Hi, Maiwa. Uh, good morning. It's a pleasure being um, on the show today. All right, uh, uh, Cameroon coach Hugo Bruce uh, considered defeat after that game on Friday. Would that have any bearing on today's uh, return leg? Uh, well, of course, it's very, very difficult for you to see. Um, Cameroon going through at this stage, um, just a few points, a couple of points um, in their first um, two games, Maiwa. And um, it's something not associated with uh, African champions, um, if you may. But then, uh, they're a traditional powerhouse in African football. And like the coach did say, um, it's all for pride um, today. But I always did say that, as far as I'm concerned, that may uh, be mind games, wanting the Nigerians to feel relaxed and, and all of that. And then they go on to um demolish um the nigerians but don't also forget uh my wada playing at the stadium uh, where they have not lost a football game i um, mean about 29 years um so i think it's one um record they'll be trying as much as possible to preserve uh, but then for nigeria nine points after three games i think all the nigerians um need to do um is just to go out there play their game and then see what they take out from this particular fixture possibly um i think a draw like nigeria's coach general did suggest uh won't be a bad result for the nigerians uh, well, we saw how the Eagles played so efficiently on, on Friday against Cameroon. What do you think was yeah. responsible for their sudden resurgence, especially after that shoddy performance against South Africa? Well, um, it was an inexperienced squad against South Africa, very inexperienced squad. Uh, but then we did see um, some of the more experienced players um, turn up against Cameroon on Friday. John Mikanovi, don't forget, uh, was really instrumental in that victory, a goal and an assist in the first half. Uh, he was missing the game against South Africa, the captain of the side, and he came on and did a brilliant job um, against the Cameroonians on Friday. There was also Johnny Gallo, uh, who, is one, who is one of the most experienced heads in the Super Eagles. Uh, he was also on display, grabbed the goal in that game, tried the opening goal uh, that did calm the nerves of the Super Eagles players, and I bet uh, the coaching crew as well. And then there was Leon Balogo at the back. He missed the game against uh, South Africa um, earlier in the year, but then he was available for this fixture against Cameroon. Um, I, I think those three players were really, really instrumental um, in the Super Eagles victories. The fact that we had our experienced heads back, and it just goes on to show the fact that um, when we talk about national team football, uh, we have actually have to um, look at um, experience. It does come into um, into into play here. Yes, most of these players are based in China and all of that, but then the experience came to the fore um, against Cameroon um, on Friday. Uh, well, it seems to be like uh, goals are now made in China. <laughs> someone, <laughs> uh, someone tweeted uh, recently. Okay, uh, let's 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 do some permutations here uh, now. Okon, yeah. um, if Cameroon were to not any you know some sort of hopes of qualifying, uh, you know, for the World yeah. Cup, uh, what would really happen? It would mean that Nigeria would have to lose. Uh, their remaining yeah. three games and Cameroon mm -hmm. would have to win their remaining uh, three games and hope yeah. that results elsewhere go in their favor because as it stands now Nigeria have got nine points from three and uh, you have Zambia on four points after that 3-1 yeah. uh, win over Algeria the last time out Cameroon are on two Algeria mm -hmm. have one point so are there yeah. any you know some sort of you know hopes at all even if they defeat Nigeria today um well of course, um, I think hope will be back on, uh, but then it's very, very slim hope. Uh, if they beat um, Nigeria later on today, um, of course, that's 6 p.m. Nigerian time. Uh, but then again, Nigeria have a home fixture against Zambia, uh, who were pretty impressive um, in their fixture against Algeria um, on Saturday, winning that one by three goals to one. Uh, but then I think the home fixture against uh, Zambia should be a game where Nigeria would honorably win if uh, they failed to pick up a victory. Um, so don't forget that victory today all but seals Nigeria's qualification uh, to the World Cup in Russia. I mean, 2018. But then, I think if the Cameroonians get the results today, hope back on, as far as I'm concerned. But then that's the slimmest of hopes uh, for qualifying for the Russia 2018 World Cup. 
okay, uh, let's let's take a look at the uh, the Lions uh, now. How do you yeah. see them uh, setting up uh, today against uh, the Super Eagles? Uh, they didn't know what hit them last uh, Friday. Mm -hmm. Now they know what they are facing in today's game, and they are playing in front of their fans. How do you see them, you know, setting up against Nigeria? Look, before the first goal, I thought Cameroon were really impressive. I was scared in the first 10, maybe 15 minutes, uh, because it was all Cameroon and all Nigeria was doing was contain the Cameroonians. And I actually um, did tell a colleague of mine who I was watching the game with, are you sure Cameroon can maintain um, this pressure and this momentum all through the game? That was the question I was asking. And after 20 minutes, I thought it cooled off, let Nigeria dictate play, and then let Nigerians, of course, um, go on with the scoring, which they weren't able to... Um, cope with Nigeria's pace, Nigeria's streak, and Nigeria's ability um, on the ball on the day. Uh, but then, the first surprise for me was that Christian Basagog, uh, who of course plays his club role in China and was one of the key members of the Cameroon squad that went on to win the Africa Cup of Nations earlier this year um, in Gabon, was playing from the left. I thought he was going to play from the right, give Elderson Echejile a good run for his money. In the second half, we did see Basagog uh, moved. Uh, he did move to um, the right hand side of Cameroon's attack, and he actually did have a good goal at Elderson in Chile, but that was too little, too late, especially after Nigeria grabbed um, their third goal. I thought the third goal uh, by the Nigerians actually killed off um, any sort of uh, comeback plans uh, for the Cameroonians. Um, so um, I, I think for me, it's still going to be the same of the same. Christian Basago possibly uh, switching over to the left, starting from the left this time around. Then I think it should be a more, uh, you, you should get the likes of uh, Mukanjo. Uh, the captain of the side, a lot more involved in this one. Vincent Abubakar was just too subdued uh, for himself on the day. And this is one man who you know, if uh, he's um, in the mood, uh, can actually have a good goal um, at, at the Nigerian defense, uh, made up of um, William Cruz Ekong, and of course, Dion Balogun. Leon, of course, was superb on the day, and I think he's going to do another great job today if uh, the manager can roll, uh, does call on his uh, does call on his service in this particular fixture. But then, like I did say, Christian Basago is the main man. Nigeria's left hand, I'm on like left side of defense, looks suspect. Others in Echejile is not the most solid of defenders. If Christian Basago does take the game to Echejile, uh, there's a chance that he may force a uh, foul off Echejile. Possibly in the box, there's a chance he can run at Chejile and uh, not the fastest again these days. And Basago is one of the fastest in the Cameroonian squad, of course. I think it's going to be instrumental. And of course, Vincent Abubakar Mukanju has to show that they have the most experienced heads in the team and try to take the game to, Nigerians, uh, for, to the Nigerian team from the world go. All right, thank you very much, Andid uh, Okonia, for your time on the breakfast show this morning. Everyone would expect uh, Ikechuku Ixenwa also to continue in goal uh, on the back of that impressive performance against Cameroon on a Friday. Perhaps Daniel Akwe's place in the team might now feel, you know, threatened after all. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, thank Absolutely. you very much once again.